Uh, we begin with the Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban announcing he no longer supports Manfred Weber's bid to become the next president of the European Commission. At a press conference in Budapest, Orban said uh, that German, the German had insulted Hungarians uh, when he said in an interview that he would not accept office as commission head if he needed the votes of Orban's Fidesz party. Weber, who comes uh, from the centre-right European People's Party, is one of the leading candidates to succeed Jean-Claude Juncker as head of the commission. We would have liked Mr. Weber as commission president, but he's announced not only that he would not need the votes of the Hungarians, but he would not want to become president with those votes. If someone insults a country like this, then afterwards the prime minister of that country cannot support the candidacy of such a person. This is simply against the rules of democracy and morals. So how has it come to this? How has the relationship between uh, Hungary's Orban, who we just heard from, and um, the EPP's Weber deteriorated uh, so much? Let's get some more from Rosie in the cube on this. Now, these two men have had a very wobbly relationship. We've got Viktor Orban, the Hungarian Prime Minister here, and Manfred Weber, a leader of the largest party in the European Parliament. Now, their relationship has been fractious, and the communications director of the Hungarian Prime Minister said this on Twitter, live tweeting that press statement that happened yesterday in Budapest, saying, I'd like to express myself very precisely. Uh, he made the statement that he not only does not need the Hungarian votes, but he doesn't even want Hungarian votes to become commissioner. President. This all dates back to a statement that was made to a German broadcaster when he said this, I would not take up the office because I do not want to be elected by the far right. He was asked, would he become European Commission President if he had to lean on the far right support of the Videz party? He says, I want to make it clear, the centre is the dominant force, not the fringes. Now, this has ruffled feathers. Maybe we'll explain just why in a second. But it means this party, these two groups have had this very difficult relationship. Both have had these very inflammatory posters about the other. For example, our correspondent here talks about one of them previously. Uh, they remember this really difficult anti-EU, anti-Claude Jung Juncker poster campaign that the Hungarian parliament put out, saying basically we don't trust Europe and we don't think you're being honest about migration and we think the Hungarians need to know. Now, this whole poster campaign actually saw the Fidesz party being expelled. So this is the latest in the developments. Well, Maeve can explain more. All right, thank you very much. Uh, Rosie there in the queue. Well, as Rosie was saying, uh, we're going to get some more uh, on this with Maeve McMahon, our correspondent in Brussels. Let's head straight over to her. Morning to you, Maeve. Quite a radical uh, change from Orban, isn't it? Well, absolutely, Belle. We all knew how much Viktor Orban and Jean-Claude Juncker, the current Commission President, don't get on and deeply mistrust each other. But when it came to Manfred Weber, the aspiring Commission President, up to a couple of days ago, Viktor Orban had been showing his support. But we have, of course, just yesterday seen a radical change in tune. And what circles close to Manfred Weber are saying it's because over the last couple of days and weeks, Viktor Orban has been spending a lot of time with members of far-right parties. And just last week, he hosted Matteo Salvini for a day. Back then, Viktor Orban told La Stampa, the Italian news agency and newspaper, that uh, in his eyes, Matteo Salvini was a hero who managed to stop migration by sea. And just yesterday, we saw Viktor Orban host the Austrian uh, far-right gentleman, uh, Heinz Christian Strache. And that's, of course, when he came out with these comments regarding uh, Manfred Weber. What many here in this town are thinking is that after those elections, Viktor Orban will not want to rejoin the European People's Party, but rather perhaps the far-right alliance. But what Viktor Orban said yesterday is what in his real dream would be to see a coalition within the European Parliament with the centre-right party along with the far-right groups. But as many here in this time will tell you, that will not be possible because then many politi politicians from the EP party will just frankly not even sit in a room with people like Marine Le Pen. But Bell expect this to be a major topic later in the week in Cebu when heads of state uh, and government get together in that Romanian town to discuss the future of Europe. All right, thank you very much. Maeve McMahon there in Brussels.